What's going on guys? Walrus here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Welcome back. If you missed my previous video, it's on the screen right now. It's some uh, really good Black Ops 2 Mob of the Dead Zombies tips and tricks. Shows you a great way to rack up a ton of points in round one every single time you play Mob of the Dead. So you can check that out if you'd like. And today I'm featuring some of my Battlefield 3 gameplay from the Xbox 360. Nope, not on PC, not on PlayStation 3. Been saying for the longest time I'm going to transition over to PC, but that's been like a year coming. So <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to be doing that. But uh, uh, this is a Conquest gameplay. I PTFO my butt off. It comes down to one ticket at the very end. I'm not going to spoil it, but you guys can enjoy that in the background. And what I want to talk about today with you guys is some interesting information that I've come across on uh, PixelEnemy.com. I will link them in the description so you can check out my source. And it has to do with some information about a new game mode on Battlefield 4. Now, at this point in time, there is not a whole lot of information about like specifics as far as this new game mode. But DICE has been teasing about dinosaurs since Battlefield Battlefield 3 first came out and basically there was a, an older poster and it described this thing as a co-op mode where players would fight against dinosaurs with pr primitive weapons, um, specifically mentioning a bow and arrow. And what I've got for you guys today is a, um, a survey from a forum member that was basically asked some general about some general information to improve the Battlefield 4 experience and a lot of it had to do with you know what they thought about Battlefield 3 things. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up this survey and I'm going to highlight a number of different points on it and give you guys my opinion about it and then we're going to transition because this survey actually kind of leads into a more recent report from Pixel Enemy that has to do with some of the source code for Battlefield 4 being exposed and leaked that actually shows, you know, dinosaurs in this code. So, let's go ahead and get into a little bit about this survey. All right, so the first thing that we see contained in this survey is what players generally liked or disliked with Battlefield 3. I'm going to pause right here and just give you guys a quick a quick synopsis for, for myself now. I think Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2, both amazing games. I love both of those games. The one major fault that I could find with Battlefield 3 as an Xbox player was initially the matchmaking system. It was terrible. I mean, I would spend multiple times with a full party of four trying to squad up for hours on end and, and just being unsuccessful with that. Um, having four players in the same party playing indiv their own individual games is just really annoying and I think that is a, a, a big reason why a lot of Xbox players just stopped playing the game when Black Ops 2 came out and probably before that. Now I completely understand that um, EA games, Medal of Honor, Battlefield games are going to run better on the PlayStation platform for the most part as opposed to running on the Xbox and um, conversely Call of Duty X Activision games are pretty much going to run better on the Xbox as opposed to the PlayStation. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section, but for me, that was the biggest pet peeve that I had was just the matchmaking system. So moving on to the second point, it mentions Battlelog 2.0 and being able to schedule matches with other, with other friends. Uh, moving on to the third point, which is where I'm going to pause again, increased dynamic environments. It gives one example of being able to blow out the foundations of a dam and flood the battlefield, change the pace of play, change the routes that are available. I think to see DICE taking this to another level as far as their interactive environments goes is just going to make the game that much more successful. Battlefield is very well known for obviously being able to blow up buildings and a lot of other different things on the map and that is really cool to see them to see them going on with that. Now I'm going to link, like I said, there's going to be a link to the survey in the description so you guys can check out the things that I didn't cover. But lastly, it goes on to mention um, upcoming DLC. It goes on to mention certain map remakes and then getting back to you know the the, the point of emphasis here dinosaur mode. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at this source code and we can see right here, I've got it up on the screen, that it actually has dinosaur and vertebrates written right into the code. Now, a lot of people have just kind of dismissed this as a really good troll or prank or trick from DICE, but you know, based on based on the stuff that they released from Battlefield 3 and that poster and this being brought up again and, and people just kind of coming across these things in the survey, to me it's pretty substantial evidence that basically indicates we're going to get one crazy co-op mode, like unlike anything we've ever seen in any of the Battlefield games um, to date. And I'm not the biggest co-op guy, but this has got me pretty excited. I mean, I, I don't know if I, I'm, I'm so into the, you know, the primitive weapons kind of, kind of thing, but for the most part, I, I, this I think is going to be a huge selling point to a lot of people that aren't so into the multiplayer aspects of Battlefield or any other, you know, online first person shooter. I think this is, could be a major selling point for those guys that are in, all about the campaign and the storyline. And um, Battlefield 3 had, a, had an interesting co-op mode. It wasn't really my cup of tea. I tried playing it a couple of times with some friends and really just couldn't get into it. But like I said, this just looks like it's going to be incredible. So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. And real quickly, I just want to um, read 
a response from Dice that Pixel Enemy got when they um, basically asked them about their perspective and opinion and, and uh, bringing some more light to the survey and to the source code. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Dice's response or EA's response. We value the feedback from our fans and are constantly looking for ways to improve our games. We conduct annual surveys that include topics that range from random ideas, hint, hint, to specific themes to see what resonates. These are just some of the ideas included in our survey and are not indicative of anything we have in the works. I don't know about that. I mean, <laughs> you guys, again, you guys tell me what you think in the comments section, but uh, you guys know you guys know where I stand on this, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So gameplay is coming to an end right now. You can see the, the ticket's just ticking away as I go to get C right here. And I just wanted to thank you guys again for all the support you've shown me on my videos. I'm just about to hit 20,000 subscribers here probably in the next couple of weeks. And like I said, like I've been mentioning in my videos, I've got a number of different giveaways planned, quite a few interesting things coming your way. More content is definitely on the way from me. And in just a second here, I'm going to highlight a couple of other videos you guys may have missed. And if you're new to my channel, channel. First of all, I just want to say welcome. Um, I try to bring you guys a lot of up-to-date reports and news and really good gameplays, tips and tricks for um, a lot of Call of Duty stuff. And then um, if I'm into it, the battlefield scene as well. But um, that's pretty much going to do it. You guys are absolutely amazing. And there we go. Good game, Walrus. Good job. So a couple videos up on the screen you may have missed. Um, check them out. You guys are amazing. More videos, more content is on the way from me. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day.